That's the sound. The sound of the Bernie Sanders campaign deflating. Just like Tom Brady getting footballs ready for a big game, Bernie is over. So after Bernie Sanders underperformed on Super Tuesday and Joe Biden overperformed because of the way the DNC party bosses, with the help of the Clintons and the Obamas and the donors and the Nancy Botox Pelosi's and the Chuck E. Cheese Schumer's all in their little secret backroom dealing decided that Joe was the guy, well... Jake Uger was upset. He can't believe that Bernie so underperformed and Joe so overperformed, and we're not going down without a fight, man. Since Biden is going to have a much stronger showing tonight than originally expected, going forward, we're going to have trench warfare. And it is about to get way, way uglier. Yep. So it's not me saying, we're gonna do it. It's me telling you because I know the progressive base and I know the establishment that we're gonna go to war and a war like you've never seen. Because progressives online are not gonna go quietly into the night, into that good night. They're not gonna be like, oh, Joe Biden's senile, we'll let it go. <laughs> Joe Biden has had has an awful, awful, awful record on civil rights, awful record on the bankruptcy bill and I can go on. Oh, we'll let it go, we'll I'm let it go. Awesome. And the mainstream media is not gonna turn around and be like, you know what? Maybe we should discuss Joe Biden's true record, right? They're not going to do that. So we're and now we got mano mano, we got Bernie versus Biden, and we are going to clash like you've never seen before. Here's the problem, Chink. Your guy, the one that you're willing to fight for, isn't willing to fight for himself. I like Joe. I think he's a very decent human being. Joe and I have a very different voting record. Uh, Joe and I have a very different vision for the future of this country. And Joe and I are running very different campaigns. So the American people have got to understand that this is a conflict about ideas, about a record, about a vision for where we go forward. And I like Joe. Joe is a decent guy, and I do not want this campaign to degenerate into a Trump type effort where we're attacking each other, where it's personal attacks. That is the last thing this country wants. Kind of reminds you of in 2016 when he basically handed the nomination to Hillary Rodham Clinton. Now, despite the fact that the DNC had really rigged that primary with the superdelegates, and no matter how many states Bernie racked up, Hillary still seemed to manage to get more delegates at the end of each primary run. But what really handed it to Hillary to where she realized, oh, he's going to do exactly what I want him to do, was at a debate when he said, well, sick and tired of hearing about all damn emails. Well, that was it. That was it. Instead of jumping on your opponent's vulnerability, criminal behavior, and absolutely ramming it back at him, nope. Let him walk. See, that's why Mike Bloomberg isn't running anymore. That first night when Elizabeth Pocahontas Warren came after him, came after him hard, came after him decisively, and he just stood there shell-shocked, and, and, and he kind of like tried to half defend himself, and then he just kind of stood there, and, and he just had this look on his like please stop talking to me, please stop talking about me, and please move the camera somewhere else. I don't want to be here right now. Can I tell you what Donald Trump would have done? Can I tell you if Donald Trump had actually had the opportunity to debate Elizabeth Warren in the upcoming general election cycle, and she would have tried to throw at him, you know, all of these so-called allegations and even the infamous tape where, you know, he talked about... Uh, grabbing women's anatomy. Can I tell you what Donald Trump would have done in that moment? He, he wouldn't have stood there like this. He wouldn't have done the Ralph Cramden, hamana, 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 ha. No, what he would have done is he would have looked at Elizabeth and said, you are the last person 
that's going to lecture me about honesty and integrity. How many years have you told people you were a woman of color and an Indian? I mean, he just would have absolutely gone right back after her. You know why? That's killer instinct. That's winner instinct. That is in sports the ability to, even when you are playing a team that you know some of the other guys on the team, you like some of the other guys on the team, it's not really like they're your mortal enemy, but during game time, they are. Because you're there to get a job done. And the mission, despite what all the lib loons that now run all of the kids' sports programs think, it's not just, we're just, we're just here to participate and have fun and eat healthy snack. No, we're, we're, we're there to win. We're there to win. You know, winning's fun. You want to have fun? Let's win. Uh, the object is to teach kids that in life, there are times of success and there are times of failure. And what you're supposed to do is, from your failures, learn how to turn that into success. That said... Bernie has basically rolled over, played dead, and said, I, 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 I know that the powers that be are going to give it to Joe. See, Bernie is the out-of-the-box, in-your-face, wants, you know, communism, is going to double down and fight for Castro's reputation, but isn't willing to fight Biden for the presidential nomination. Has he got another house picked out that he's hoping the Biden campaign will buy him? You Bernie bros. He sold you out in 2016. What made you think he wouldn't sell you out again? So, here you have it. One thing that Bernie has proven is he is a revolutionary until there's a revolution. He talks the game. He talks the talk. But he really doesn't have the fight in him. Now, if he can't fight back against the Democratic establishment, if he can't fight back against Joe Dementia Biden, if by some weird fifth dimension, the age of Aquarius, the planets misaligned, and somehow Bernie were to get elected, how is he ever going to get any of his so-called agenda done? Because as soon as some Republicans, even if they're not even in the majority, as soon as some Republicans in the House or the Senate say, no, we're not doing that, and there's pushback, there's blowback, Bernie picks up his toys and goes home. That's what he's proven to do. He's not actually a fighter. He's an ideologue. He's got his canned stump speech. He makes the same points in every single debate, but he really doesn't know how to go head-to-head -head with anybody. He's done. He's done. And Joe Dementia Biden will be able to scramble enough brain cells together and pull a few faculties together to at least be able to spar with Biden on a debate stage. And what is Biden going to do when he doesn't have like nine other people up there deflecting? When the whole spotlight is then on just him and one other guy. Yeah, Jenk, it's mano a mano. And your guy is an a mano short. Sorry, the revolution... It's over. And for those of you that want to write in the comment section, stop talking about Jenk Uger. He's nothing. He, he, he threw a fit after the last election. He was going to do all... He's just allowed to talk, too. Um, he organized the group, the PAC, and the committee that gave us AOC. Don't say he's making idle threats. He gave us AOC. Well, she's a one-termer. Well, you know what? The election hasn't happened yet, and she's still in office. And sadly, if she's gone, which we want her gone, the sadly part is it won't be because of us. It won't be because of great Republican or conservative strategy. It'll be because Nancy Pelosi is going to deal with her herself. Um, see, she challenged Nancy. She's not paying her DNC dues. You know, I can see Nancy just going ahead and redistricting her district and letting it be absorbed by a different district there in New York so that AOC is technically out of a job because her district just doesn't exist anymore. 
So don't say Jake Uger is a blowhard. He is a blowhard. He is an idiot. And he is a moron. And he's himself not electable, even in Californication. But, 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 he is a rabble rouser. And he does know how to rile up a certain element of the population. And he is able to squeak certain candidates in. So don't say, don't say, this is much ado about nothing. But if I were Jank, I'd be really ticked that the guy you were willing to go to hell and back for, the guy you were willing to go to war for, the guy you were willing to lay your life down for, at the first sound of gunfire, your guy's on his horse and he is retreating as fast as he can in the opposite direction. Yeah, so much for the revolution. Viva la revolution! Or however it is you say it. That's it for this rant. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up and a great big like. Make sure you spread this video everywhere that you can and help us get our subscriptions up. I appreciate it and I thank you.